all the magic, the pageantry here inside the building tonight. Welcome back to EA Sports. It's opening night. There is always something magical about opening night, and we are set to get underway. Been fired up for this one. The puck is dropped. Let's go. Moves it over to Chara. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Rhode Island's got the puck behind the net. And now he passes it to Chara. He's working his way through the offensive zone, James. He doesn't have an NHL goal yet. Quick feed to Sprong. Stones him in front. Crisp's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Subban's a great defender who can disrupt the opposition and even help his teammates generate chances from the back end. Johns has a wicked release when he shoots while skating in towards the net. His off-the-rush zone ability is difficult to read and even harder to stop. Be on the lookout for one of these players to make an impact for their team tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. Here's a howitzer at the net. Denies him with a save. Moves it quickly over to Matthews. He scores! There it is! His first of the season! The Leafs tally the game's first goal. When you get yourself into the middle part of the period, this is where the game starts to take shape, and now they've got the lead. Tavares wins it inside the neutral zone. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Subban's got the puck in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Chara. Tries to get the puck over to Cahoon. Shot! Oh, what a stop! Crisp's gonna cover it up for a face-off. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Leafs lead it 1-0. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Nylander's got it in the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to Tavares. From the opposite point. That's blocked by Holpe. Yeah, he flashes the leather there to make the stop on a really difficult chance. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. The Leafs win it. Taken along the wall by Hall. Plus saved by the goalie. Holtby's gonna cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Well, this has kind of become like the badge of honor in hockey, what we saw prior to this one. Yeah, they didn't do this when I was a rookie, certainly, and, and I don't even really know when it started, but the rookie gets out there ahead of the team, the team stops behind him, and he has a couple of twirls on the ice by himself. It's got to be fun to know your game's going to start. I'll say this, whoever started it, I love it. Toronto's got it in the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Nylander. Hangs onto the puck. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Rhode Island's crossed the line and on the attack. The Leafs have the puck now. Oh, the athletic therapist is already waiting for him at the door. He got crushed on that hit, and he needs some help. Turned aside by Holpe. Rhode Island's looking to break out. Moves it to Aston Reese. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. And he takes the feed. Rhode Island's moving it into the offensive end. Toronto's got a hold of the puck now. Moves it over to Kerfoot. Takes the feed. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. He took a pretty solid jolt there, James. Uh, we're going to have to check in on him in a second. DeHaan's not going to be able to stay in the game here. He's gone over the bench and into the tunnel where he's limping his way back to the locker room. Let's see if we can try to get an update as soon as possible from the medical staff. The Wolverines take possession off the faceoff. 
Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. The Wolverines play it along the boards. Nice pass. Quick pass to Grimaldi. Oh, and he makes the save, just not enough to keep it out. Into the butterfly, slides across to make the save. Quick feed to Kemp. The transition game now into full effect as they move across the blue line. Can't get it to go. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Injury has kept him out of the game. I just got word, James, he's not coming back this evening. Thanks for that, Ray. Let's see how the coach rolls with that now. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Colby's going to pounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. Marner's a playmaker and a good one at that, guys. He sees the ice so well, but it's his deceptive passing that can create chances for his squad. Scores! And some friendly geometry goes their way to hell. Well, it's not like you're trying to get it that close, but you can get the power. You take it. That's kind of nice, isn't it? Toronto's now made their way back to center ice for the faceoff. I see a lot of movement, a lot of talking on the bench right now. What's the message, Ray? Coaches are going up and down the bench. Telling the players to stay on it. Don't back up. Brody's going to play it against the half wall. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Toronto's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. The Wolverines are across the line and into the offensive end. Slides the puck ahead to Brody. Riley stick handling in his own zone. Puts it on net. Good save. Colby's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Matthews uses his skill to deke out the opposition and surprise the goalie with a quick shot to finish the sequence. And guys, that's his shock and awe zone ability, and it's what makes him such a fun player to watch. And he slides it quickly to Brody. Here's a shot! Tremendous stop by Holpe. Feeds it to Chara. Handles the puck. Great poke check on the reach. Slides the puck to Marner. The Leafs cross the blue line and are on the attack. That was amazing! What a save by Holpe! And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And now he moves it quickly to Strong. To the front! Manages to hang on. Here's a shot. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Moves it quickly over to Punty. Shot. Denied by the puck stopper. Holtby's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. Past the midway mark in this period. The Leafs lead this one to zip. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Taken by Chara. And it's a quick pass to Aston Reese. Great extension on his part to poke it away. Chris is going to hang on here for the whistle and stoppage of play. It's a good thing he does because you haven't mentioned his name and I don't know how long. The play's been at the other end of the ice forever. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Tavares has won the draw inside his own end. Sends the pass over. Here's a short pass to Nylander. The Leafs are in transition. Return pass. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Puck grab by Tavares. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. 
There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Kaiser's going off for interference. will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Coaches always talk about the importance of excellent special teams. You don't necessarily have to score, but you can gain some momentum. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Here he is in front! Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Sends a pass over. From behind the net. Sends the feet in front. Another pass. Shuts him down. Scooped up along the wall by Matthews. Denies him again. Why a goalie can never relax. He makes one stop. Now he's got to be sharp to make another. Matthews is at the face-off dot and will try to win the draw as we are about to resume this power play. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Moves it to Matthews. Here's a shot. He scores! There it is! First game, first goal. Checks off a couple of bucket list items in the space of one game. Ray, as a rookie, how long did it take for you to score? Took me three games and it was a great thrill. I can't even imagine what this feels like. Puck is shot, play resumes. Dumps the puck in. Picked up along the boards by Martin. Puck scooped up by the Kaiser. With some open space here in the neutral zone. The Wolverines pick up steam and are on the attack. Moves it on over to Johns. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. A quick save. The Wolverines gain possession. Rhode Island's moving it along the wing. Toronto's got the puck. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. That brings the period to an end. Ray and Carlin both off to get some poutine from the concessions. I'm going to grab some popcorn, and we're coming back with period number three in moments. Take a look to the sky. The Hollywood Prize is headed your way all the The officials are set. The players are set. Ray Ferraro between the benches is set. I'm James Sabolski. Let's go. Here we go. Third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? Rhode Island's been a step slow almost all game. They haven't had the puck very much. They're losing. If that's going to change, they've got to get the puck and hold on to it much more. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Quick pass to Marner. Nice feed. Johns has got one. You know he wants more. Everybody in on the fun tonight. The Leafs take it along the wall. Great defensive effort with the stick. Sprong's got the puck along the wing. Fires it on net. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off the stick. Quick feed to Cajon. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Sliding across in the butterfly covers most of the bottom of the net. There's nowhere for the puck to go. Oh, uh, that's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. And look at this. All sorts of pressure here, Billy. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The Leafs are getting penalized for slashing. tonight at their power play unit. Their first power play of the night. They've worked on it. It starts with the face-off. Win the draw. Start moving the puck quickly before you shoot it. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. The Wolverines have it now. 
And he takes the pass. Perot's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Grips it and rips it. Stops it with a block. Chris had a really easy night here, James. I don't know how it could be much easier than this. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. Bozak's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Too much traffic in the lane. They get it out of the defensive end. Rhode Island's got a hold of it along the wall. And he takes the dish. Shot! Great glove save! Crisps on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Kerfoot's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. A chance to get it out of the defensive zone. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Passes on over to Aston Reese. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Denies him with the pad. Rhode Island's gained possession along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Here's a shot! Chris opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Campside still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Oh, how do you miss it? Well, you miss it because you're trying to be perfect with it. Really good opportunity that he doesn't cash in. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Rhode Island's got it behind the net. Slides it diagonally to Subban. Right off Main Street and on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Cahoon. There's a great save on an excellent chance there. Marner's up at the box. And a quick save on that one. Crisp's gonna smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Toronto's on easy street right now. They lead it 3-0. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Puck bounces into the bench and we'll get a face off. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Rodriguez is quick on the draw. Toronto's man is out of the box and we're back to even strength. I liked everything about that power play, James, except the fact that they couldn't put it in the net. Everything about it looked really good. Rhode Island's got the puck along the wall. Makes the save. Grabbed along the board by Yarncroft. Slides the puck across to Muzzin. Slides it over to Riley. The Leafs aren't that far from a shutout. Hey, if you think they're superstition in it, too bad. They've got a shutout and they're still going to do their best to protect it. Another stop by the goaltender. Dead center, excellent save. And that ricochets off a twig in front. From the place 99 made famous. And that goes off the player in front. And that was a good heads up read to make that save. Here we go, look at this. They are really applying the squeeze down in the offensive end. Scooped up by the D. And they go the other way as they clear the zone. Cutting to the front of the net. Stopped by the goaltender. Takes a shot. And another save. So good. A couple of quick stops to keep the puck out. And he gives it over to Plenty. The Leafs take it along the wall. Fires it. And he comes up with it. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Sends it quickly to Rask. And not much on that one. 
In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Seattle's on deck on the schedule. How many guys actually know who's moving? Uh, more than half, I, but you'd be surprised how many people don't know who the next team is on the on the, the roof. Oh, yeah, they just play the game that's in front of them. Stop by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Rhode Island's got the puck along the boards. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. With possession along the wall. Here he is, shot right in front. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. The Leafs have it against the wall. Moves the puck to the attacking area. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard-fought effort this evening. And there it is! You can almost see the relief in his body language in front of the cage. His teammates surround him for his first ever shutout. They talk about wanting to have more fun in the sport. This is a perfect example of that step forward. Well, when the players started saluting the fans, you could almost feel like the connection between the two of them started to increase. I think it's a great thing to do. And look how much fun everybody's having. Hope you had as much fun as we did here tonight, and we will see you the next time. At least we hope so. From all of us here at EA Sports, take care, everyone.